guys today we're going to be changing the oil in my 2006 Honda CBR RR um, I was having a problem I was driving um, and I started to go uphill the bike stalled out um, the oil light came on and um, I got it to crank back up started riding again started going downhill the bike cut off so basically that told me that the bike was low on oil um, when I first got the bike, I never changed the oil in it. Uh, I've only had it for about um, the since uh, summer of uh, 2022. So um, we're going to go ahead and change the oil. Um, we're going to do a flush in it also. The same stuff that I use um, in my Toyota Scion, I'll be using in the CBR. This right here is the liquid molly um, engine flush we're going to flush the motor out so technically what we're going to do is we're going to pour this into the engine let it sit at idle and uh, let it run for about 10 to 15 minutes um, we're going to squeeze the clutch in while it's idle let the clutch back out squeeze the clutch in let the clutch back out so while this is running all through the motor to clean everything out, um, I already bought the type of oil that I'm going to pull in, put in it, uh, GN4 right here. This is the oil that Honda recommends you put in your motorcycle. This is a uh, fully synthetic 10W40. Um, I also got the oil filter here that's the number got that it came with a funnel and it came with a new crush washer for the um, drain plug all right this was a set I got it off of uh, Amazon I'll put the link in the descriptions well where to get this from now basically what we're gonna do first is um, this bottom cow down here uh, I hit something and I actually broke it here and here but um, it's okay um, you're gonna have five screws to take out two on this side one here and then one here and then two on the other side and then one underneath okay they're either gonna be t30s or they're gonna be uh, 10 millimeter screws okay so one here one here um, you look in the middle right there. Well, let's get up on it. I'll show you. Up on the bottom. Uh, let's see. It's, it's going to be one right there. And with yours, it may even be one at the back, but mine's broken down there, so it's not there. Let's see. Then you're going to have. One right here, and then one down here at the bottom. This whole bottom piece should come off once you do that. So now that I have all uh, five of the screws out, you have two more that are down here, right here at the bottom right here. Um, mine have push pins in it, so I don't know if yours will have push pins or if it'll have actual uh, screws but you have to take these out too so in a total that's seven to get this bottom this bottom half off okay so i'm going to take those out push pins all you do is take your fishbone and pull this small part out first like this like that and then pull the whole thing out afterwards and the same the same with the other all right okay all right we got the bottom half cowl off on the right side and on the left side okay and here they go right here so let's start with the um, oil change the first thing you're gonna do is take this cap off I'm gonna take the cap off first and then 
we're gonna pour the liquid molly engine flush in now four quarts of oil um, goes in this motorcycle and this molly one of these is for three to five liters okay so we have four liters in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull mostly all of it in leave like a little left in the can let's pour some in pour it all in there okay that's enough and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cap back on All right guys, so what we're gonna do is, let's see, put it in all position. Make sure that the bike is in neutral. My bike is in neutral. I'm gonna turn it on, crank it up. <laughs> Everything's off. I still got the bike in neutral. Okay. All right, guys. So next thing you want to do is go up under the bike and be in the front. Get you like some type of drain pan. Um, I'm just using a old uh, antifreeze bo bottle. Um, see should be four quarts should be able to hold four quarts it's gonna be full though but what we're gonna do is take a 12 millimeter socket and a bolt right here we're gonna take that loose Put this back in and dump it. Let's see. Uh, almost. Woohoo! Almost. Right up to the top. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that pour out a little bit. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this back in. I always do that by hand. I've been using tools long enough to know not to cross thread something, but I always make sure you do that by hand. All right. Let's see. 
Give me a second. Look like it's leaking. So let me pour this stuff out. All right, got a little oil spillage there, but got everything out. Poured it into my big one. That oil was pretty hot. I always let the um, bike cool down before you let the oil out. All right, so let's loosen this first. I'm gonna put the bucket back under and loosen it up so I can put the new crush washer on that came with it. Give me one second. So let's take this back off. Let it pull the rest of that oil out. See that washer right there? You gotta take that off and put a new one on. It's called a crush washer. The um, new bike came with a new one and we need to make sure that we change the um the oil filter but this is the new crush washer it's just taped on here so all we're gonna do is take it off in there. Put it up under the bottom. Like I said, you want to hand start this in. Okay. So we're going to torque that off. Um, and then up here, you see this right here that is the um filter we got to take that off too looks like you can take it off with look down in there with a socket let's see what size it is 15 So yeah, it's a 17. So if you stick a 17 inch socket in there on this, you can turn this off. So I'm gonna put a 17 on it and turn this off. Make sure you have the um, oil catch can kind of long ways. So as soon as you take that off, that stuff's gonna pour out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that off. All right, so. Got it on there, and all I'm gonna do is just turn it. All right, that's loose enough. Now you can just stick your hand in there and just turn it with your hand. As you can see, it's already dripping. See that? So, let's see. Let 
that pour out. Now, let all that pour out first, and then once that pours out, we'll get that out of there. Now, this new one does not have a bolt on the end, so it's going to be a little harder getting this on there. But we'll get it on. We'll see what we got to do. Let's let that pour out. All right, guys. So, once you get all of the oil out of the oil filter, you're going to take it out. The only way to get it out of there is to take this 10 millimeter nut out of here. Got to take that screw out. Okay. Once you take that out, this nipple right here, you got to pull this nipple out of this bracket right here. See that hole right there? You got to push up on it and pull it out. Now that's loose. Now once that's loose, you could just pull this right on out of there. Should just come right out. Let's see. It's kind of hot. There it is. See that? There you go. It's out. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is um, toss this and put the new one on. So here's the new filter, straight from Honda. This right here um, is a K&N, and it has that 17 millimeter screw head on it, right there. It's an easier way to get it in there, but we're gonna go ahead and put this one in. So, I'm gonna open this and put this in the inside. Now remember, before you put this on, you're gonna get a little oil and rub it around this O-ring real good, okay? Get some used oil, put it around the O-ring. All right guys, so we got the new one in and we got the 10 millimeter bolt in and we put the nipple back through the bracket. I'm gonna put some um, antifreeze in my bike because it doesn't have any in there. Um, like I said, I bought the bike this summer and I never actually did any maintenance to it yet. So, all right. Put my impact on this just to tighten it down a little bit. should be good enough. I got it on one. I'm gonna test it. That's good. That's good. All right, guys. That's just hand tight. So, I mean... You don't need to tighten that so much, you know, that you strip it. We got everything on. Okay. Now we can go ahead and start pouring the oil in. Um, you have a gauge down here. A window it tells you how much oil is going in. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and. Take the cap off. Put my funnel down in there. All right, guys. So we have four quarts of GN4 uh, fully synthetic 10W40. This is uh, Pro Honda, made specifically for Honda bikes. Uh, this is the oil that Honda calls for their motorcycles, okay? Um, this oil does not have molly in it, which is a dry lubricant. It reduces friction. So you don't want to put any type of oil in your bike that, that has molly in it because molly reduces friction. And since the oil is used by the motor and the clutch, it's gonna reduce the, the friction, you know, with your clutch. So you wanna make sure that you get something that does not have molly in it, okay? A lot of people like to put engine oil in their motorcycles. That's not a good thing. You wanna use uh, four cycle oil. 
uh, specifically for motorcycles that does not have molly in it, okay? Now what we're gonna do is start pouring the um, oil into the funnel. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start putting the oil in. Um, it's actually three, but what you do is you put in two quarts and a half and then you check the um, the sight window down at the bottom and what you want to do is you want to fill the oil up to that second line at the top I'll show you that once I put in two quarts and a half and start the bike two quarts and a half. Now, what we're going to do is put the cover back on and I'm going to put the top back on. Make sure you, the O-ring is still on it. Put that back in. We're gonna start the bike. So let's go ahead and put finish putting the third quart in. Third quart. Put the cap back on. Alright, so we got all three quarts of oil in, and what we're going to do is we're going to clean off the um, exhaust pipe because it still has oil on it. What you want to do is clean it off with brake fluid or carburetor cleaner. I don't have any, but I do have some degreaser. So. so I'm going to spray degrees on and then wash it off. So all I did was just throw some water on the pipe just to get 
everything cleaned off of it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take it for another ride, make sure that the um, oil site is leveled. guys so we're gonna check the site to make sure that the oil is level let's see let's see okay that's the site What we're gonna do is lean the bike over so that the bike is straight. Let's see. And there it is. The oil is right between the two lines. It's a line at the bottom and a line at the top. And the oil is right between it. That's where you want your oil at. So the bike takes three quarts of oil. So I got an extra quart just in case something happens. But that's it. Okay. Mine doesn't show because my bike leans so much because it's dropped. But now what we gotta do is put um the plastics back on and that's it. Oh and put some uh antifreeze in it. But that's it guys alright this is J-O-A-T-D and I'm out